Good morning, girls. load of hay so if anyone uh, hasn't gotten the hay that they need yet uh, this year uh, we've got a new trailer load coming in today uh, this is Saturday so we should have it for uh, right after Christmas if you need any but I thought I would go ahead I'm on the road here for a while I thought this is another good time to continue on with our story time series and I wanted to tell you the story about um, we're pretty sure this is again about Earl Pratt back in uh, the early 1900s and a dime uh, that was pretty much priceless. Um, back in those days in the 1800s before Rankins Creek Road is where it's at now, uh, the road ran up along on the hillsides above where our dairy barn is at and stayed on the hillsides as much as possible because the farmers really, they couldn't bear to give up their bottom ground for a road. So that's where the roads were. It was kind of up in the ground where uh, it was pretty much useless to them. And it was a lot of times uh, terrible conditions for a road. Muddy and just awful, especially with horse and uh, buggy or wagon. So uh, there's many places on our farm uh, that we have heard nicknames of different areas, different sections of the road. I know up in the hollow behind our dairy barn, there's a place that was called the Devil's Backbone, and it was a rock, uh, slick rock that all the ground had been worn off of and washed off of, and it was said to be just as slick as it could be, especially in the wintertime, and people would have a lot of trouble coming down that hill, down that road in the winter, uh, because they would get their wagons on that rock, and it would just be like a sled, slide right off of there and have all kind of problems. So. Uh, that's just one little uh, one name of an area that I know of and the story goes like this back in those days really the nearest town uh, to where my family lived was Getaway and it had different names but I, I'm pretty sure it was Getaway then but uh, there was uh, a store grocery store and that kind of thing any kind of supplies you need uh, you pretty much went to Getaway to get them but my great-grandpa um, and grandma, they needed flour. So they sent Earl Pratt, he was just a little kid at that time, they decided they would send Earl on a horse around the getaway to get a bag of flour. And they gave him a dime, they knew that's all he would need to get all he wanted. So uh, they give him the dime, and Earl uh, got on a horse back and started for getaway. So you're looking at about a mile and a half ride probably, from where, uh, where they lived, and uh, he got on that old road and, and started around through there. And when he got around uh, just about where Davidson Hill is at now, across the creek there, up on the bank, there was a spot there that was known for being a terrible place, muddy and uh, deep mud, you know, to where you couldn't hardly get a horse and wagon or anything through. Well, I guess Earl got to that spot and it happened. 
So the family waited for hours. Uh, they couldn't imagine what had happened to little Earl. He'd been gone for hours and hours. Uh, they just didn't know what in the world could have happened to him because it wasn't that long of a ride over there. He could have been there and back in an hour if he had tried, easy. So uh, they decided maybe they better get out and go look for him. So they got they got on their horses or in their wagon, whatever, and they started around towards Getaway looking for Earl. When they got to that real muddy spot, they found him down on his hands and knees, reaching down in the mud holes and the horse tracks up to his elbows, uh, crying. And they asked him, what in the world? What happened, Earl? What's, what, what went wrong, you know? And uh, he looked up at him and said that he had got in that rough ground and he had dropped his dime. So that was so serious to him and probably them uh, that he had spent the whole afternoon on his hands and knees in that mud reaching down into that muddy water trying to find that dime. So that's the difference in then and now and how important a dime was to a family. So I just wanted to share that one with you. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch up with you on the next video. Just...